you have never been in Europe, you probably never heard of the Mercedes V-Class 300D Marco Polo. The standard Marco Polo comes with cupboards, a couple of gas burners, a fridge, wardrobe, table, sink with fresh and waste water tanks, and an electrically powered pop-up roof with a small double bed, not unlike the Volkswagen California camper we drove last year. Fiddle with the rear seats and there's another double, though it's far from generously proportioned. If sleeping space is your priority, then the Marco Polo Horizon chucks out all the furniture and instead looks to all intents and purposes like a five-seat minivan. There's a triple bench seat behind the rotating driver and passenger front seat. The larger rear seat lays flat to create a more properly sized double bed. There are blinds, a pair of camping chairs, a table, and, if you specify it, a roll-out sunshade, rain shelter. It's all very clever, the packaging is superbly considered and the fit and finish all befit something wearing the three-pointed star upon its sizable front grille. New to the Marco Polo in this mild refresh is the same 2.0-litre four-cylinder turbodiesel power plant that's available in the E-Class sedan, as well as the company's slick shifting nine-speed automatic transmission. In the 300D guise, this makes for a kitchen sink that accelerates to 62 miles per hour in just 8.6 seconds thanks to 239 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. If you're in less of a hurry and want to keep the cupboards tidy in the back, then there's a 220D, which makes do with 163 horsepower. And the Marco Polo cruises so easily and quietly you'll want to double check that you've packed the cutlery in the back properly, otherwise you'll hear it rattling about. The Marco Polo is based on the Mercedes-Benz V-Class. The multiple seating configurations of the Marco Polo for up to seven passengers are an expression of its maximum versatility. It also offers five sleeping berths thanks to a reclining triple bench in the rear and a roof bed for two people. Two drawers underneath the reclining bench provide extra stowage space. The Marco Polo can be stylishly individualized with an array of high-quality materials. Thanks to compact exterior dimensions and a vehicle height below 2 meters, the Marco Polo is not just ideal for leisure activities, it is also a perfect everyday companion. For instance, it can get into any standard multi-story car park without problems. This is a well-presented two-bedroom detached house with a newly fitted kitchen and dining area, with yacht wood flooring, situated in the heart of anywhere you care to park it. You get the idea. The Mercedes-Benz V-Class Marco Polo is a bite-sized luxury property on wheels, and it's just had a few updates as part of a facelift for the entire V-Class MPV range. Chief among them, a very welcome refresh in the engine and gearbox department. The OM654 four-cylinder diesel engine from the E-Class, GLE and CLS, with two power outputs, 220D and 300D, is now available, along with Mercedes 9-speed automatic gearbox. Elsewhere in the V-Class lineup, automatic emergency braking is now standard and the styling has been tweaked inside and out. So, is this 2019's must-have holiday adventure vehicle? Should I buy one? Then there's the price, which is still to be 100% confirmed, but the V-Class has never been a bargain. It'll hold its value well, but the initial outlay will still be pretty eye-watering. A PCP finance deal might still be cheaper than property rent in London, but not by much. If you want to spend a little less, the Marco Polo Horizon is an option, it comes with the two beds but not the kitchen. The Volkswagen California, meanwhile, is the obvious, cheaper campervan competitor and offers the same hashtag lifestyle getaway opportunities for less money. But if you're willing to pay extra for a posh badge on the nose and a slight lift in perceived quality inside, the Marco Polo still appeals. Price starts from price $62,100.
And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Subscribe to Auto TV.